evening everyone, my name is Heath Askins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Yes! It's Lumber Tycoon 2, and we're going to be doing Lumber Tycoon 2 all week, and probably next week, because it's Halloween. And, uh, I got a message from someone, real quick, that said, um, you need to check this out. And it shows an exploit of this person who is able to instantly and automatically teleport to Spookwood. Which is making it really hard for me to go and find Spookwood because of these exploiters who are doing this. <laughs> so, I'm going to go and worry about getting some cans and getting some, some more of the Halloween decoration thingies. Getting that all onto my base and, and because I haven't done it in a while. And I don't think I've done it for my, my first base. So we need to do that. But before I get started, I've got fan mail. Fan mail. Fan mail. So... The first one, and by the way, I do pre-read and pre-check all of my mail. So if you do send me something and you say open on camera, it's going to be pre-opened, okay? Um, I apologize, but that's that's the way it's going to go. So, real quick, I thought this one was amazing. And I think I'm saying it right. Isaiah, Isaiah, I-S-A-I-A-H. Thank you so much for your letter. And it says... <clears throat> Sorry about the color, but it was the printer. March 30th, 2018 is when this screenshot was taken, and I thought you might want to see your old avatar. Oh, <gasps> well, I just had my old avatar on a second ago, or in the last video. And it says, you have come a long way, Code. Keep up the amazing work. Also, I am sorry for the holes in the paper. I, I saw there was like a thing. That's fine. That happens with like printers and cats all the time. So, uh, it's from Foxinator underscore five. Read the back. So, let me show that to you real quick. It's a screenshot of us standing. That's amazing. That was back whenever the, uh, the, I got the bronze uh, key for the Ready Player One event. By the way, I've just started in on a new audiobook from um, Audible. And no, this is not advertised or sponsored. But Audible, if you want to send me a sponsorship of some kind, I would be that would be an awesome thing to do. I would love to do some Audible work for for you. Um, maybe do some narrations. Who knows? You know, contact me. Let me know. See see how it goes. <laughs> they, I see these videos all the time, and Audible sponsors them like everyone. And I'm like, I want a sponsorship from Audible. I I like audiobooks. I love audiobooks. They work so much better than me trying to read things. Um, oh, audio tapes, audio messages. Never mind. We'll, we'll keep going. Uh, yeah, no, you are the one who got me into playing Lumber, and you were a huge inspiration to me. I have been watching your channel since I was 16. I am now 18 years old. Today's current date is September 29th, 2019. Just keep being you and keep inspiring others like you did me. You came a long way, a very long way. Foxinator, thank you so much for for the letter and for everything. Just because I remember you've you've done donations and stuff on the live stream as well. I remember Foxinator, and you've also done. Um, I think it's on Mixer. It might be on Mixer. Maybe. <laughs> yes. Hi, Joel. Wow, you're a YouTuber. <laughs> Hi. Uh, the next one is going to be from. Uh, okay. I don't want to read the last name out loud, so I will, I will, okay, oh, here, 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 let's do this one first. First, I found that there was a drawing of a cancer, breast cancer ribbon, thank you, and it is Breast Cancer Awareness uh, Month, which is in October, uh, next month is going to be No Shave November, I'm going to be growing this out, it's a little raggedy because the weekend, I haven't shaved yet, so... I'm not the best drawer, but here's a little something that I wanted to draw for you and your family. And thank you so much. This is actually going on my wall at work. So I've got a, I've got a wall of everybody that's done like fan art or drawings and stuff like that. So I will absolutely show it to my, my wife and family and then put it up there. October 4th, 2019. Dear Code Primate, a.k.a. Roblox God. <laughs> it's got a smiley face there too. A little XD smiley face. It says... Hi, Code. My name is Evan, and I am from... <clears throat> I am writing this letter to tell you how much I love you and your videos. You have been... Wait. I have been subscribed to you for around three years now. Unfortunately, at the time of this, 
at the time of this letter, I have been exploited. Frowny face. The guy slash girl who did this snuck onto my base and exploited around three years worth of lum lumpkins, presents, axes, etc. off of my base. I have, <clears throat> I have nothing now. Frowny face. I know you don't usually play with your fans, but... Dude, I always play with the fans. Like, a lot. You just have to follow me in. And I know it's, like, really hard, but... Oh, it said you were going to start recording too. Yeah, I'm recording right now. <clears throat> Slick Mills gets in like all the time. I think he's got a tracker on me. It's probably in my left shoe. That's where he put it last time. Um, off my base. Uh, I have nothing now. I know you don't usually play with your fans, but I thought maybe off camera you could maybe sign my base. That would be a dream come true. No, I'm not asking you to give me any presents and stuff like that. Um, all I'm asking is for maybe like 15 minutes off camera session. I don't expect you to keep uh, keep me added. It would just be really amazing that if you could join and could join. Be really amazing if you could join. I'm talking. I'm talking dream come true. Lol. But if you can't, I understand. I will continue to like and watch your videos because you are you truly are an inspiration. But anyway, my username is get ready for it. Capital N, little I, little T, little E, capital H, little A, little W, little K, underscore, capital Y, little O, little U, capital T, little U, little B, little E. That's Nighthawk underscore YouTube. The N H Y T are caps X D. That's <laughs> smiley face. Uh, and then you also showed the underscore. No, I don't make videos. And no, if you play with me, I will not record a video to make clout. <laughs> you don't have to, dude. It's like you wrote me a letter, and I'm reading it live on the thing. Well, not live, but I'm reading it off in a video. That totally gives you clout. Oh, by the way, anybody who could. Please join Nighthawk underscore YouTube and give him some presents. Maybe um, load up his base with some things, whitelist him, throw it on this base, and help him out. Get back to uh, regular status. I hope you understand, but yeah, love you, code. Hyphen Evan. Uh, P.S. I'm trying to set up a Discord at the moment, so if you are willing to play, please Roblox message me or my Instagram name, name is Evan. Oh, I'm not going to say that out loud. Um, you can DM me there. Thanks. Uh, P.S. P. P. S. S. If you want to, uh, if you want, you can read this on camera. I don't mind smiley face. Well, I totally did, um, read it before getting the permission to read it online. Uh, thank you, Evan. Um, if you want to play with me, absolutely. Um, I'm not going to set aside 15 extra minutes to go and do it, but if you join me in in game while I'm playing or while I'm recording, I will absolutely play with you. Um, just so you know, I normally record in between uh, 9.30 and midnight, Monday or Sunday through Thursday. And then we have, uh, we have live streams on Saturdays and Sundays. No, it's just Saturdays. I didn't do a live stream on Sunday, did I? Oh, sadness. Oh, well. Thank you so much for your letter and for your your um, your um picture. I will hang that up. And then we have one more. I know, I know I'm know, i recording a long time, but I always take time for the fans here. And we will, we will go get some more stuff. I received this. It was a box. When I first opened it up, this is what I saw. Seafront. I was like, okay, cool. And I got gnomed. <laughs> it trolled me in a box. <laughs> I got gnomed, not trolled. Get it? Uh, never mind. <laughs> All right, and it says, I hope you enjoyed the three packages of Chips Ahoy that I sent you uh, that one time. This time, it's a 3D printed space probe that I made, and the thing is a secret. Oh. <gasps> What? What kind of secret is it? So if you look, this is what I found. And it is the Rosetta Space Probe. Now, normally when people send me things, it's, the, it's things that they are enjoying or they're part of or that they love. And that's a big statement because that means that you're into space probes and you're into um, 
stuff like that. So I went and looked it up. The Rosetta spacecraft was a space probe that was built in the uh, built by the European Space Agency, launched on the second March two thousand four, along with the Phyla its lander module. The Rosetta performed a detailed study of Comet 67P. Um, during its journey to the comet, the spaceship flew three times around Earth by Mars and the asteroids 21 Lata and 2867 Steins. Stein, Steins? Steins. It was launched uh, as the third cornerstone, cornerstone mission of the ESA's Horizon 2000 program after SOHO one cluster and the XMM Newton. Uh, on on the sixth of August two thousand fourteen, the spacecraft had reached the comet and performed a series of maneuvers, eventually to orbit the comet at a distance of thirty to ten kilometers. On the twelfth of November, its lander module, the Phyla, performed its first successful landing on the comet, through, though its batteries ran out two days later. They didn't use Energizer; it keeps going and going, or the copper top to Um... <laughs> <laughs> Communications with the Phyla were briefly restored during June and July of 2015, but due to the diminishing solar power, the Rosetta's communication module with the lander was turned off on, 2000, or on the 27th of July 2016. On 30th September 2016, the Rosetta spacecraft ended its mission by hard landing into the comet in its Mata region. The probe was named after the Rosetta Stone, a style of Egyptian origin featuring a decree in three different scripts. Uh, basically, it was three different languages on one stone. That's why they call it the Rosetta Stone. The lander was called the Phyla Oblix, was named after the Phyla Oblix, Obelisk, which bears a bilingual Greek and Egyptian hieroglyphic inscription. Basically, it was two different languages meshed together. So... Huge shout out um, to what's the name? Michael. I'm not. I'm not going to say the the last name, but Michael. Thank you so much for sending this to me. And yes, I I enjoyed immensely eating those cookies because I had such an abundant amount. I was able to just gorge myself on Chips Ahoy, and it was amazing. Uh, just so you know, I like soft batch. <laughs> The Keebler soft batch, um, it's in a red package, has the little elf on it and stuff like that. Love those, because you can put them in the microwave, warm them up, they come all gooey and stuff, and you can drink some milk with it. And Oh my gosh, I have a following. <laughs> I didn't even realize that they were getting in there. Uh, the other thing that I found in the box that I found kind of curious were these golf balls. Um, but they are not just golf balls. They're golf balls that have been cut in two to show their cores. Which I I never knew. I thought they were made of, from rubber bands, and I guess these are two uh, test golf balls. Maybe maybe practice golf balls. That way you don't have to ruin your good ones. But it's it's been cut in two as well. So I don't know if there's a hidden meaning in between them, or if there's you just thought it was cool, or you used it as packing tape. Who knows? But um, thank you so much for the package and the gift, and thank you guys for sending me letters. Uh, if you wanted to send me an email hold on my p.o box is right here on the screen now code primate p.o box 8004 springfield mo 65801 there you go so um if you want you can send me packages you can send me letters um photos whatever uh and i will read them on camera if you want me to uh be sure to mark on it read on camera read off camera Whatever the case may be, if you don't want me to read it out loud, I won't. So, I will respect your wishes any way that you want. Oh my goodness. Lots to do. And it's it's definitely time. Hello. <laughs> Problem code is probably the messiest space of all time. No offense. None taken. <laughs> Let's roll. All right. So, the thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to show you some real quick because I had made the comment that I could only hold nine axes during the Twitter thing somebody showed this to me or somebody said this to me and I didn't realize it was true check this out um, if you if I'm coming over here right <clears throat> and I go pick up a bunch of axes let's just let's just pick up some alphas seven eight nine 
and we should have a zero position. All right, so that's that's technically <clears throat> nine axes that I've got. One of them is my blueprint. Watch this. They said move it out into the backpack, and that will allow me to pick up. Oh no! Wait. What? What? Okay, that's not supposed to happen. But uh, let's see. So I can still only pick up. Wait, can I drop it? I, I can't drop blueprints, right? Well, dang it. Okay, I lied. I lied. Never mind. Forget I said anything. It's not true. <laughs> there we go. Get rid of all those. <clears throat> There we go. We got two axes on us, and let's get. Hello. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh no! Oh wait, no, no, no. We, we're we're good. We're good. The lumpkins are still going to be available. Come on, get in. Get into my car. <clears throat> Sorry, it was a little loud. Probably shouldn't scream into the microphone like that. Uh, I saw this base over here, and I was like, oh my gosh, that is amazing. I don't even know how it's made. It's correlated? Something like that? I'm in Goat's car! I'm in Goat's car! Get out of my car! <coughs> oh. I'm in Code's car! Broom, broom! <laughs> Get out of my car! <laughs> oh. It's a deal. <laughs> um. A lot of you might be asking, what are you doing, Code? I'm heading over to Bob's shack. I'm going to pick up a bunch of lumpkins and some uh, canned worms. Hopefully, by the time I get done with that, I will be able to head over and get some light bulbs. And then we will go get some sand. Because I need to I need to restock on some, uh, some end times axes. I was looking around, I'm like, getting kind of low. So, um, I highly suggest you do the same thing. Grab some... Um, some cans of worms, some sandbags, and uh, some light bulbs, aka the ice creams. It looked like an ice cream, kinda, but it's a light bulb. We <clears throat> okay. Back, back, back it up, back it up to the door. Back, back, back it up. Open up the tailgate. I'm gonna get this one, and I'm gonna get this one. And we're gonna get this one, and done. There we go. All right, Bob. Oh, chat with the Bob. Yes, I'll take it. Thanks. Hee <laughs> hee. Thank you. Come on, come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. Bob, chat with me, dude. Bob Lumpkin. Yes, I'll take it. <laughs> Thanks. One more. One more. One more. Come on. Chat with Bob. Bob Lumpkin. Yes, there we go. So now I'm just going to pick them up in order as well. One over here, nice and stacked. And two. Mm -hmm. I wish I wish there were two cans of worms instead of just one. <clears throat> Tell to you tomorrow. Watch every day. Amazing, I watch every day before I go to bed. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Here's one. And two. And three. Oh, watch out, bud. <clears throat> I kind of wish there wasn't so much lag here. Little little worried about the lag. Yep, I'll take it. Hee <laughs> hee, thanks. There, there is a big delay on the lag, isn't there? <clears throat> yes. Take it. And one more. So this video is going to be kind of boring, but at the same time, I like read off all the things, and plus we have the Audible stuff going on. Sponsored by Audible. <clears throat> I would I would love to have sponsorships, you know? Hey Starbucks, contact me. Hey Best Buy. Um, you got any gaming machines I can test out and, and showcase for you? <clears throat> or uh, maybe cyber power cyber power. Cyber power would be good. Because Cyberpower is what I use right now. And if any of you guys know uh, of people that want sponsorships on my channel, um, have them contact me. Get a hold of me. 
tweet at me. I mean, that's that's what Rebecca did for uh, Adam's Media. Oh my gosh, come on, seriously? What is this lag? What is this? Lag. All right, there's that. Come on, there's that. And that, good to go. <clears throat> my image is loading my base. Do you want to buy it for 32,000? Th sorry, 3,200, yes. Come on, Bob. Come on, Bob. Come on. Yes, I want to buy the lumpkins, please. I'll take them. Dude, come on. <laughs> it is so rough right now. I wonder if Cineac still has a, uh, a private server on here. I'll go play on Cineac's server. Oh, uh, by the way, for those of you that did not know, I actually got rid of my private servers. Um, I calculated it all out and I was in, I ended up spending like 9,000, 10,000 Robux a month on just private servers of things. And that's a lot of private servers. So I went and cleared them all out and my Robux increased. And then I go and do things like spend a thousand Robux on what's it. These are not reloading. Come on, dude. We might have to go find another server because this is this is ridiculous. What do you need, Francisco? Is anyone selling? Tons of things. Okay, that's not much to go off of. <laughs> you know what? I'm good. I'm I'm good for right now. Close close this. Let's get. Come on, come on, dude. I only got three cans, two, four, six pumpkins. But the sun's come. The sun comes up <coughs> on Lumberland. That sucks. Half of my items on the base were removed by a hacker. Not a hacker. Exploiter. I'm a hacker. They are exploiters. Please don't categorize an exploiter and a hacker in the same category. They are not the same thing. Okay? Uh, just a public service announcement. How are you a hacker? <laughs> I hack things. I make the programs that exploiters could use. Well, not any more, but... I used to. <laughs> like years ago. Ago. <clears throat> and that's the big difference. An exploiter, okay, listen. An exploiter goes and downloads a program that injects scripts into the game itself and they don't truly understand what it's doing. Now, that's not to say an exploiter isn't a hacker. That's just saying an exploit, am I recording? Uh, yes. Um, an exploiter is someone who uses programs and doesn't understand them. Most of the time, these people have viruses on their computers and they have Trojans in the background because they didn't know. They like If you're using an exploit right now and you don't know the, the source code of where that program came from, I guarantee you, you've got a virus on your computer. And you've probably got something that's not going to get detected because it's not going to get reported because a lot of people don't use it. You're using something that was created by someone that used to be like me. And yeah, I used to hide stuff inside my codes all the time. It was so easy, you know? I guarantee you a million um, in-game dollars for you to download this program that you don't trust from a site that might be a little sketchy. You, yeah, just saying. And this isn't to scare you. If you've downloaded an exploit, fine, whatever. Just know that it's not safe. There's no guarantee that that code doesn't have something in it. 
and to the hackers out there, to the programmers who are creating these programs. If, if you truly cared about your code, you would get some kind of certificate some kind of authentication. So whenever they go to install that program or when they go to run that program, it doesn't pop up with a warning and it actually has a certi certification of some kind. Do that and I mean, you can make a lot of money off exploits, I'm just saying, but you don't and you're young. And if you're not young, I apologize, but most of the people that are creating the exploits are learning programming. That's how I got my start. Like. AOL prog programs, stuff like that. And I, I don't want to scare anybody. I don't want to like offend anyone, but just stop exploiting Roblox. <sighs> There's so many more standalone games that you could go and be spending your time on. Go learn Unity, Unity 3D. Or go make a Roblox game. Make a Roblox game and then have somebody else exploit it and like see how you feel, just saying. We should probably get some of these, shouldn't we? That did not work at all. The lag is killing me here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. My goodness. Best YouTuber ever. <laughs> After I just like condemned half of the exploiters and hackers out there. And I, I do apologize. Um, I get off on rants because I get fired up about people calling exploiters and hackers the same thing. Um, a hacker is someone who is curious about technologies and wants to dig into the code. They don't want to take something as face value. Um, <clears throat> if you've ever had an alarm clock or a VCR, sorry, not VCR, uh, a DVD player or some kind of electronic, a printer that you've taken apart and probably didn't know how to put back together because you wanted to see the insides of it and just to see how it worked, you might have the curiosity of a hacker. But it's also to say that we're the ones that were in high school and we don't show our work because we can do all the math inside of our heads. Stuff like that. It's, it's different. And it's hard to pay attention, especially when you know things and it comes off as you're being superior or not superior that you're showing lack of interest that you're showing lack of motivation towards the things that you're being taught and this goes for anybody from elementary to high school to college all right do the work and don't think about it. It's going to be boring, okay? You're going to be so far ahead of the rest of the people inside your class, it's not funny. But just get it done, and you'll you'll be better for it. I promise. And don't stress about anything. I know I stress about, like, test, taking test. You know the material. I promise you know the material. If you've got a test this week... Mm, I used to study really hard back in elementary school and like middle school. And I found if I studied really hard, I did bad on test. It was weird. And that's not to say don't go and study. Make sure you know the material that you're being tested over. Okay, buddy, come on. Let's get this paid for. Yes, please. I'm gonna have to go and find a different server because this is just not working at all. Oh, life advice from Code Primate. I thought we were playing lumber. <laughs> well, we are. Technically. Um, you know what? Uh, I'm just just going to buy one while I'm here. It's it's easier. And we'll go fly around. Uh, how long have we been recording? Oh my gosh. It's been 30 minutes? It's been 30 minutes already. Okay. We'll take a quick peek. And then drive this stuff back. Well, I'll, I'll drive this stuff back. And then we'll take a quick peek. Yes. I want to buy this, please. All right. Here we go. Off we go. Here we go. Back to land. Okay, buddy. Did he did he leave? Where'd Perry go? Was it Perry? Perix YT. Where did you go, buddy? Oh well. Oh well. 
We'll just drive it back. <clears throat> we can go over by a few few minutes, but it's fine. We'll go hunt for some spook wood. That way, at least I can put it in the title. <laughs> what do you mean, Code? I thought this was a spook wood video. <laughs> no, it's it's not. It's a it's a Oktoberfest video, October time frame, and there was an update. Hold on, menu change log. <clears throat> Added support for the arrow key inputs on vehicles. Wait, what? That's back in July twenty eighth. Oh, hey, arrow supports. Nice. So if I press both, oh, forward and forward, does it do double? Oh, I'm going twice the speed. I'm just kidding. It doesn't really go twice the speed. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, that's not an exploiter at all. Look at that. No wonder our, our thing is so lagged out. Oh, that's why we are lagged out. <laughs> oh, hold on. <sighs> Not that my base isn't any better. I mean, by far. All right, let's get this in here. Just back, back, back it up right there. That's good. Um, I'm gonna grab this out, and then I will hit the button. A boop. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Let's just take a quick peek, and then we'll we'll go and upload the video. That way, you guys can get it for tomorrow. I am looking around for spookwood. Spookwood. Where do you go? Where did you come from? Is that Spookwood over there? I think that's just a... I don't think that's Spookwood. Yeah, it's falling down. Um, I don't see any. If you happen to see some inside the video, just... Hashtag and mark it. Tag it on uh, a time. And that time will turn into a link. And I can just click on the link and go straight to that section of video. That way I can see what you're talking about. <clears throat> but I do not see any spook wood at this time. So, thank you all for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Oh, great. Now it's stuck. <laughs> uh, love you guys very much again if you want to send me something to read on camera I can do that uh, if not that's cool too if you do want to play with me just remember in between the times of like 9.30 and midnight uh, Sunday through Thursday Monday through Friday that's when I'm usually on playing games and stuff like that love you guys very much have a great night we will talk to you very soon <sighs> outro